All right, Lisa, we are live. Thank you so much for taking out some time to chat today. Thank you again for having me. I love chatting to you. Absolutely. So let's talk about the Goonies, all right? Uh, yes. Let's just jump right in. Uh, Life After the Goonies is one of your next projects. It which is. is uh, currently crowdfunding on Kickstarter. Um, what can you tell us? Let's jump right in. I, I want to hear all about it. Oh my God, I'm just so excited to finally talk about it. This is a film that I've wanted to do a documentary on since we started Flash, so 2015. And I was trying to lay the foundation. So in 2017, we filmed a bit in Astoria and for some magical reason, Richard Donner said yes to an interview. So I interviewed him in preparation to do this film because I wanted his permission I sure. needed to, to say, I want to do a documentary on your amazing film. I need you to say yes. And he did. <laughs> um, and then I was finishing Flash and then I was finishing Navigator and then the pandemic hit. And in my mind, it was same with Richard Donner. I can't do a Goonies documentary unless Sean Astin says yes, because, you know, I, I wouldn't watch it if Sean Astin wasn't in it. And it was two months ago, I finally got face to face with him and I asked him and he said yes. So it felt like the right time to launch the crowdfund and make this happen for the 40th anniversary next year. Oh, wow. That's the 40th anniversary next year. Jeez, I remember seeing that in the theaters. Yeah, I remember my mum had recorded it off the television but had cut out all the ads, so I still remember all the ad breaks. But it was also a version that had cut out the swear words. So oh, it was no. like a few <laughs> years ago I realised the Goonies had, like, swear words in it because I was just so used to watching my VHS copy so I was like this is really poorly edited you know but <laughs> <laughs> I love it that's great um all right cool so let's get into it a little bit um who have you gotten like interviews with and kind of who have who are you still hoping to get I mean I don't know if that's releasing too much but no I mean I'm for curious. me I I didn't want to go too deep into the production until Sean had said yes. So I have done a bit of filming in a story. We filmed at the film museum. I've done an interview with Mark Marshall, who's consulting producer and any Goonies fan will know Mark as being, he has a, he was a production assistant on the film. He has a plethora of photos and behind the scenes videos. And so he's really supportive. So I interviewed him and of course, Richard Donner, but I really didn't want to go too far. I want to be able to interview people saying Sean said yes. Sean's involved um, and I do have a host of kind of non-Goonies people that I would like to interview um, a lot of Goonie fans I've already got lined up Bayman Zachary who owns the Goonie house uh, has said yes to an interview um, there's a few people that have worked with Richard Donner that I know who I would like to interview about Richard Donner I would love to do a tribute to him in the documentary That's and awesome. so they've already said yes um, and I know some of the cast and crew are starting to say yes. So it's a really exciting moment that I really need the support of Goonies fans to help the crowdfund so I can actually get out and film and have it out next year um, as opposed to, you know, doing smaller crowdfunds every few months, trying to work out how I'm going to get out and film. So with this crowdfund, I can actually make it as opposed to doing little dabbles of interviews and then sitting back in the UK wondering how I'll go back out to the States again. So oh. um, it's really exciting. I have a whole list of people that I plan to interview and it's not just the people involved in the film, it's people from Astoria and the history and the Oregon Film Museum and the Oregon Film Trail and the guy who spent four weeks on set taking the photos for Viewmaster for the official Goonie. Like there's so much that I want to incorporate that goes beyond just a making of it'll be a, a definitive look at the legacy and why it's so special as well that's one of the things i also wanted to talk to you about was um some of the rewards that you guys have on the kickstarter i mean we got to showcase some of these because like you mentioned real quick like the view master like i'm flipping out about that idea like i'll give us a little more information on that so I'm really, I really love doing these films because I get to kind of put little nostalgic stamps on things like the VHS release we did for Navigator and we're doing it for Never Ending Story and we're doing it for this. But for Goonies, I wanted to like push it a bit more. 
So on the crowdfund, in addition to the Blu-ray and the collector bundle for the Blu-ray, there's like a fun merch pack with like a personalized marble bag and a challenge coin and an enamel pin and a beanie. And um, and then also the Viewmaster, which will have behind the scenes photos of production. So it'll be a Life After Movies Viewmaster. Um, one of the add-ons is a cassette tape, which will be, and I might, someone said I should include a pencil with it just in case, um, <laughs> a cassette tape where one side will be bits of interviews that I didn't use in the documentary. So like outtakes that haven't been heard and also then my production experience on the other side. Um, Of course, there's like associate producer and executive producer credits, or you can have your own page in the credits to send a video or have your own time in the, in the end credits to talk about why you love the Goonies. Um, You can be in the film sending a video. Uh, I don't know how I'll use it, but I'll use it. Um, And then also really excited about uh, Bayman has kindly donated some rewards relating to the Goonies house. So he uh, is wonderfully supportive of Goonies fans. So at the moment you can walk up to the house and take photos and do the travel shuffle, but you can't actually go in it. So uh, with the crowdfund, you can have a photo opportunity, which is for two people where you can recreate a photo, like on the porch and be Mikey and, you know, overlooking the Goondogs. Um, you can have wow. a private tour by Bayman. So if you pick that up, that's for up to four people. You can go and he can show you around the house and in the attic. And, you know, I mean, they actually filmed in the house too. So it's kind of surreal. Oh, cool. And then there's one, which is my personal favorite, where you can have a movie night in the house. So this will be around Goonie Day and there's only spots for 10 people. And the reward is for two. So if you pick up the reward, you can bring a friend. Um, and we're going to have a really fun movie night around uni day where we'll watch a movie, have some pizza, have some drinks, hang out. Like it'll be super fun. So, you know, you can't really get them anywhere else apart from this crowd fun. Wow. Holy cow. That's incredible. Wow. That just sounds, uh, I mean, I've watched the Goonies. I can't even tell you how many times I've even had my daughter. She's seen it. I can't even tell you how many times, you know, um, that would be amazing to be able to have a movie night in the Goonies house, right? Yeah. Really it's available to do it. So that is um that is quite amazing. So there's always that risk that, you know, um that the crowdfunding like doesn't work out. Like what what's the plan? You know what I mean? Like I hate to ask. Because that's mean, like I- kind of a bummer, but yeah, the thing is, this crowdfund's more than what I've asked for in the past, just because in the past I've been a bit unsure of crowdfunding and um, it's never, like even this crowdfund isn't enough to make it, but I feel right. like it's accessible to reach, I hope. Um, if it doesn't fit, if it doesn't hit, then I just, I will just then have to take longer trying to work out how to fund it. You know, and I just want to get out and start filming and then have it released on the 40th anniversary. I would love Goonie Day next year to be the last kind of block of filming. It feels like the timing's perfect for it. I would love people to see my Richard Donner interview that has been sitting on my hard drive since 2017. Um, (laughs) It just, it's so hard already as an indie filmmaker to make these documentaries. And I want to do them properly without the crowdfund I just don't really know how I will make it is the reality. And then I'll just kind of be back to square one going, well, maybe I like, do I even try and make it? I don't know. So I don't really want to think about it, but crowdfund isn't to make money. It's not about making like trying to make a profit from it. Absolutely. It's about helping me who I do all the pre-production. I do the interviews. I film it with my husband. I edit it. um, I grade it. I don't pay myself, you know, I do this for the love of wanting to make it. So the crowdfund will go, won't go towards salaries. It'll go towards the flights to America and the hard drives and the music and, you know, all these things that actually have hard costs towards them as opposed to, you know, having a jolly somewhere. So that's the reality of it, you know, and we need, I need the fans help to help me make it. And also a lot of the fans will be part of it. You know, it's the legacy of the Goonies has has gone on for this long because the fans still love it and still talk about it and it means so much to them and they want to celebrate it. So there'll be fans in the film. Um, you know, it'll be beyond, like I said, the making of. It'll just be a real celebration 
of why the film is so special to us all. Wow. That sounds amazing. I'm not going to lie. Now I want to go and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. <laughs> it hasn't been a few months. I would say less than a few months. So I have, you know, it hasn't been that long. But all right, cool. Lisa, I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to get so this much. up and we will we'll spread the word as quickly as possible. And, you know, um, we'll chat again soon then. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you taking the time. I really do. All right, no problem. Take care. Thank you.